Welcome back everyone to another edition of our cereal box game series where we take a break out of our day together and look at the artwork on a cereal box and we flip the box over and we play the games on the back of the box. And today we have Captain Crunch's Peanut Butter Crunch and this is the newer box. We have another video that has the older box. Well, this is the newer box, the box that you can probably find in the store now. And here we see our old pal Captain Crunch in his usual Captain Crunch uniform. But on this box, he has a jar of peanut butter. And he is saying, give me that peanut butter crunch. And here he is digging right into a box of the cereal with four pieces on a spoon. And as usual, we have a bowl of cereal that is this Captain Crunch peanut butter crunch cereal. And it smells very good. It's, it smells like peanut butter and it's very sweet and it's a delicious snack any time of day. Now let's flip the box over and let's look at the games because there are a lot of games on this box and a lot it's very colorful there's a lot going on so let's take a look at it they say back to the beach more fun in the Sun at peanut butter beach so this must be peanut butter beach and up here we have our little friend the whale that's on these boxes sometimes but he's different colors uh, on each box today he's gray and he says can you find the three things that start with the letters P and B well, right next to him, this stuck out in my head right away because it's a pink boat. A P and a B, a pink boat. So that's one of our things. Let's mark that with our marker. And let's move along the box here. Try to find some more things that start with P and B. Here's a little crab, and we'll read this part later. Over here we have a little swordfish, and look at our purple balloon. Well, that's a P and a B, so let's circle that. Try to circle it. And we'll move along. There's a bathtub, but that's white. So a P and a B. A bowling ball, that's two Bs. This guy is just a scary guy. That's not a P and a B. A hockey stick, an umbrella, jellyfish, a banana with a baseball bat but look who I see here a polar bear that's certainly a P and a B so let's circle him so that's that we found the three things that start with the letters P and B now the next activity says can you find at least eight things that do not belong in this scene well, I think there's more than eight, but let's find eight and we'll mark them with stars. This fish bowl is something that you wouldn't see on the beach. A goldfish and a fish bowl, I sure hope you wouldn't see him there. Uh, you might see a crab and a surfboard. Um, I don't think you'd see a banana with a baseball bat on the beach. You might see a jellyfish. I don't think you would see a bathtub, though. Unless somebody threw one away and just left it laying there. I hope they wouldn't do that. I don't think you would see a snowman on a sled, so let's mark him. I don't think you would see a lawnmower. Again, unless somebody just left it there, which they shouldn't do that. That's not very nice to litter. And I don't think that you would see a parking meter. You might see one in the parking lot, but I don't think you'd see one on the beach. And let's see what else. I don't think you'd find a bowling ball on the beach. Again, you might, but I really don't think that you would. And I don't think you would see a jack-o'-lantern either. So let's count that and make sure we found eight things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with our gold stars. So let's go up here. 
we see welcome to crunch island unscramble the words below of things you would find at the beach a beach then find them in this scene and then the circle letters will reveal the secret slogan below here's our secret slogan so we're going to unscramble the letters and then in each one of these words there's a letter circled and that will create our secret slogan down here so all of these items are things that you would find on the beach that are on this beach and one of the first things I see because it's so colorful is this beach ball and I think that that is our first word because I see B-A-L-L -L within it so let's write that down beach beach ball ball okay let's make that look more like an E the next thing we see all scrambled up but I kind of see S-U-R-F and I remember seeing down here our little crab on a surfboard. So a surfboard is definitely on this scene. And I can see B-O-A-R-D too. So we can make that word. So let's write it here. I'm trying to do it neatly. I'm trying. Okay, we got that one. This one, rollable, well, we need to really unscramble those. So this is something we would find on the beach. And this is an unusual long word, but remember our polar bear here with his umbrella? U-M-B-R-E-L-L-A. We can make umbrella. U umbrella. We did it. The next one is short, so that'll be easy. I think it's S-A-N-D, sand. You would find that at the beach. And it is on this beach. And this one's easy, too, because it's the, the correct word. It's just spelled backwards, C-R-A-B, and it is on this box, a crab. Crab. The next one's short, too. S-H-E-L-L, -L, a shell. S-H-E-L-L. -L. The next one, hmm, I think it's water. W-A-T-E-R, water. You would definitely find that at the beach, and it's, on, it's depicted on this picture all over surrounding Peanut Butter Beach. This one's a long one, but I do see the word S-W-I-M. I wonder if it has something to do with swim. Yes, S-U-I-T, swimsuit, and we see several swimsuits on this picture. Swim suit. Wonderful. The next one has, this word has three eyes in it. And I see it down here. Our little friend is wearing a bikini. I, I. Okay, the Z is for free. We'll figure that out down here. Now this, Lotol, I think it's T-O-W-E-L, towel. We see our bear on a towel there. Towel. And you would definitely find that at the beach. So let's put all our letters down here. The first letter is a C to find out our secret slogan. See how that C is circled? The next one is R. The next one is U. The next one is N. The next one is C. The next one is H. The next one is A, the next one is T, the next one is I. See, I'm looking for those little circles. They're hard to see, but, 
and then the Z is for free, so let's put the Z there, and then the E. And our secret slogan is, Crunchitize me. Crunchitize me, Captain. And we see that often on these boxes. That's the, their little slogan. So we completed all the games, and there's a lot to look at. We have a lot of our little characters. There's our little elephant Smedley. We love him so much. We see a lot of our recurring characters on here. There's Bertha. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you had fun and relaxed a little on a little break throughout your day. Bye-bye.